What's going on, guys? So today we are going to try this Lena Oberdorf. Now, she's the cheapest team of the year out right now. I don't know how because she looks like old team of the year Conte. 95 rated, right? Look at these stats. Four star, four star. Medium high, five nine, right? She can play CDM, center back, and center mid. Uh, the center back position is very, very nice um, in terms of chemistry, especially if you have like winter wild cards, Kunde, who's like CDM, you can swap them in game. Um, but look at these stats. Like she's super quick, uh, high sprint speed. Her defending is phenomenal. Her physical is pretty much maxed out. I mean, 97 strength, 98 aggression, right? She's got very, very good dribbling. She's going to feel very, very good on the ball, especially because she's smaller. Um, her passing is phenomenal. The only thing is free kick accuracy, curve, and crossing. But other than that, her passing is perfect. Uh, her shooting is a bit low, but she has very, very high shot power, which is honestly the most important shooting stat. So she's going to be amazing. Her play styles are good as well. She's got power shot, long ball plus, anticipate, slide tackle, press proven. And she has intercept plus, which is what Maldini has, which is very, very good. Especially in the midfield, you want someone with intercept plus. And she has bruiser plus, which is going to make her even stronger despite having 97 strength and 98 aggression already so i'm very excited to try out try her out we gave her a shadow because i think the shadow is going to be the best thing and she might even be very good with the hunter if you want to play her as a box to box we're going to give her the shadow because we want her to have pretty much perfect defending and make her as quick as we possibly can we're going to play her in the 4-3-2-1 as the central center mid and we're going to try her out on the right center mid position to be honest I think she might be a very, very good box-to-box -box midfielder, but we'll try her in both positions. But for now, we're going to start her off as the central center mid and the stay back center mid. And let's see how it goes. We're going to go into elite rivals because I need one more win for my objective. And I'll talk to you guys once I find a game. All right, guys. So we headed into our first game of champs for today. Uh, we're going to try Bordorf out at the center mid spot. Sorry. Um, and let's see how she does in it. Hopefully she does well. Um, I mean, I expect it. She is the cheapest team of the year, but her stats are just absolutely mental. So surely she's going to be good. All right, let's see. Good switch. I like how she positions herself in the midfield. It's like she gives, she lets herself open for a pass. That was my passing earlier, but she, she opens herself up like into the space to actually allow me to play. I think that's the press proven trait. Nice ball. Good pass. Mm. Yeah, see the way she moves back? She opens herself up. Yeah, she just positions herself so nice in the midfield. She's just always an option. I have. Okay. Uh, I just scored that. <laughs> Has nothing to do with Oberdorf, but it's a pretty cool clip. I don't know why he moved this keeper like so far out. I don't know what he thought I was going to do, but nice tackle from Oberdorf. Good ball from Oberdorf. Nice pass. What a pass. Look at yeah, that, what a pass from Oberdorf. Yeah, her passing is phenomenal. Her passing is definitely phenomenal. Yeah, she turns clean on the ball too. Yeah, you see how she like runs out of the way? She like actually wants to be an option. Give me a ham. Still warming up. That was all. That was all uh, Oberdorf, though. What a ball! Ah, uh, it was offside. Good offside trap. Come on, Oberdorf. Nice pass. Oh, look at this! And it starts the entire play. Look at that whole play starting off from the CDM. That's what you like to see. That tackle was a bit questionable, though. 
That tackle was a bit questionable. Man, this Putragueño just sticks with the ball every time. I feel like she should be getting those two tackles. That's two tackles she's missed already. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm a little concerned about that, especially as your defense as your DM. You really want her to be able to tackle. Really weird. Everything else she does is fine, but that that those two tackles are, you know, a little bit scary. Like, yeah, see, she positions herself perfectly. She passes well. Right? She's into position for another pass there. Right, good pass, and then goal from Mbappe. Yeah, she positions herself very well. It's just I, I, I have a feeling like her tackling is just I don't know. I don't know if it, it's like it feels glitched. Like she should be winning the ball, but it's like she's lacking that aggressiveness, even though she has 98 aggression. But let's see. We'll test her out for a few more games and you know make sure to see. Maybe it was just that game that was really weird, but her tackling did seem a little weird there. Because if we take a look at her stats, right. 95 stand tackling plus the full plus four boost, which is 99, right? Having bruiser plus, right? And anticipate and having 97 strength and 98 aggression. I expect a little bit better, but let's go into the next game and see how it goes. Look at that position and the passing. Olamwani just can't finish, but you see her positioning is like, I think her best attribute. I just, everywhere I see her, she's always open every time. All right, guys. So we're going to switch her over to the right center mid spot. I want to see how she plays as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Um, I just feel like she doesn't have that defensive presence. I think she's better like as a box-to-box -box or a secondary CDM. I'm going to put her beside Bellingham and see how she plays. Uh, that touch was a little heavy. I'm not too happy about that. Right? See, like Bellingham wins balls like that. Whereas I feel like Oberdorf doesn't like have that presence. Can she score for us though? Penalty. Wow. Okay. Um, I just got robbed from a penalty there. Uh, this guy was kind of shaking like the entire time, but he kind of got away with it, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that was really weird. Okay. Good positioning. Good run from her though. Nice pass. Wow, her positioning and her finishing there was very good. I think I like her as the box-to-box -box midfielder way better. It, like I said, her positioning is amazing. So on offense, she's just always kind of an option there. Even though her shooting is low. That was a weak foot shot. I think it's just shot power. She has high shot power, so she's going to be very good. Uh, she's going to have a lot better finishing than it looks like. I might have to change her, her uh, camp style after this game. Look at her dribbling. Oh, there you go. Showing her strength. Okay. She's a lot more aggressive now. I don't know what it is. Maybe she just doesn't play well in my in my tactics as the stay back center mid. Nice pass. Good run. Almost. Almost getting through. But her runs are just so good on Oberdorf what a pass what a pass let's go we take the lead we take the lead we take the lead with the beautiful assist from Oberdorf and she helps win the ball back right away oh no she loses it right away too go on Oberdorf that was a terrible shot granted I did I did I did I did like white time it but that was a bad shot. That was a really bad shot. Oh, nice. It's a good move there, though. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Team of the year tax. Team of the year tax. Look at that. I don't even know what she did there. I mean, I just took the space and then she, she got around. I guess maybe because she's way stronger than Basha. Um, but yeah, wow. She just went right through and it was a very good finish making up for her previous disastrous uh, shot. Might even get another goal here. She turns so nice. Yeah, I think she just completely bodies Basha.
Wow. Good save from Allison, but wow. Yeah, she's quick. She is quick. Tough angle, and she almost got it in, too. I think it's the shot power. I think it's the shot power that really, like, makes her shooting pretty well. Like, really good, actually. She did get the sticky there. Okay, that was very good. There you could see her strength. There you could see her strength. And that was a weak-footed shot. She's just really rapid. But you see, like, there, like, she doesn't have, like, that wrap, the wraparound tackle. Like, see? She's, like, scared to tackle. It's that animation. I, I don't know what it is. She does everything well, but it's, like, and she has the aggression, too. I don't know why she, like, lacks that tackling ability. Nice assist as well. And we get a penalty. And we get a penalty. We're not going to be able to take it, though, unfortunately. It doesn't seem like it. But yeah, see the strength there and everything's perfect. This card is like very good, like outstrengthing everything. The only issue is, 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 is she's scared to tackle? I, I don't know why she's scared to tackle. What a run. And she gets the penalty. She just, her strength is noticeable. She pushes players like away. Uh, we're going to take the penalty with her. I mean, she did everything to, to earn it. Uh, I don't know where to shoot this actually. Let's go, guys. So, hold. She's She's got the strength to get that penalty. She had the strength. But did you see the positioning? This is what I keep saying. It's her positioning that is just so good. And she doesn't even have, like, high stats in terms of, like, attacking-wise. She doesn't have those crazy stats, but she does. Like, she moves like she does. Good strength again. Good dribbling. Oh, my God. What a goal. Yeah, she just, like, she is just so good. The only thing, oh, and she's tackling now. I think my game was bugged or something because she has been exceptional. She has been exceptional. I can't even, like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't understand how this card is this cheap. Like, I get the other team of the years are phenomenal, but she can't be this cheap. What a card. I actually haven't played with a player who's positioned as well as her. Look at those runs she makes. She just makes all the right runs. What a pass. Mia Ham, nice. Great assist from Oberdorf. I think we're going to get the rage quit there as well. Yeah, she just moves so well. I don't know what it is. I think it's her intercepting. I think she tackles fine. I think it's, I don't see her intercept the ball. That's my only issue with her. But yeah, overall, outstanding performance. All right, guys. So after playing a few games with Oberdorf, I can say that this card is phenomenal. I paid 1.136 million for her, but she is a lot cheaper right now. I'm pretty sure she's like 900k. Um, I do think she's going to go up because this card is actually phenomenal. Um, cheapest team of the year. Don't know how it's so cheap, though, because she is such a good team of the year. Like, she might not be the best one, but four star, four star, right? With those stats, very, very good. In five games, I know it's a seven, but it's going to be five games because I got two free wins. In rivals, by the way. I don't know how that happened. But I got two free wins. So in five games, she had six assists and six goals. Um, I think one of them or maybe two of the goals might have been penalties. But still, right? I only gave her the penalty because she's the one who like caused it. She's the one who like got the penalty. But yeah, this card is amazing. My only concern about this card is despite her stats, especially on defensive stats and physical stats, she does struggle to intercept the ball even though she has intercept plus i don't know if it's bugged or anything but she just feels like she doesn't like react to the ball when it's close to her it's very odd but it's the bruiser she bodies some people and you guys saw especially on attack she would body some of the defenders especially basha which i know a lot of you guys struggle with basha but don't worry she bullies basha but yeah very very good card I think if I were to rate her, I would probably rate her like an 8.5 out of 10. Um, the issue being her shooting isn't the highest. It is quite good and it isn't that noticeable, but it does get a little bit noticeable enough for it to be a concern. Now, it wouldn't be a concern if you could play her as a defensive mid. However, I recommend playing her as a box to box. Her greatest attributes are her positioning because like on offense and attack, even though her attacking position is only 85, she has amazing runs. She positions phenomenally. She's always open. However, again, like I said, her issues is attacking 
And as a DM, I don't know what it is. She just doesn't really intercept the ball. She doesn't have the presence of a Hullet. She doesn't have the presence of a Bellingham. I'm using Gold Bellingham beside her, right? And Bellingham's just a monster getting every rebound, intercepting things, tackling things hard. Whereas she can tackle things hard, but she just doesn't really intercept the ball. And I don't know if it's because of her height. I don't want to think it is because I've used small defensive mids this year and they've been very good. But other than that, this card is absolutely incredible. I 100% highly recommend if you packed her on tradable, you should be very, very happy, even though you might have gotten the worst one. A team of the year is a team of the year. She was incredible. And I mean, look at these stats, right? These are in, uh, in, in champs, right? Five matches, remember, two or three wins, six goals and six assists. And like at least two of the games were very, very close. I know we got one or two rage quits, but very, very close games sometimes. And she was the difference maker, especially with her passing. I think her passing and her positioning are like incredible. And she moves very, very well on the ball, which is something very nice, especially if you want to get out of pressure. Um, and I'm, yeah, she has press proven as well. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the play review. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're going to try her, if you're interested in her, or if you have packed her or any other team of the years. And let me know what player you'd like to see me review next. And I'll make sure to pick them up. Anyways, guys, have a good one and best of luck on your team of the year packs. And remember to save until they're all in packs. But if you didn't, let me know what you got. Anyways, guys, have a good one. Peace.